Hi, welcome. My name is Jorge Lina and you are currently on my journey. If this is your first time here or your second or you are an avid watcher, I am so thankful that you have decided to click on this video and join me. Today's video, we are going to talk about bags that I am currently loving and that I am not done with the brand. But before we get on that, I do want to get this out of the way and ask you from the bottom of my heart, if you enjoy my content, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and also if you hit the subscribe button to join me on future videos. So right now, I'm currently on a two times a week posting schedule. I post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So this particular one will be going up on Tuesday. And I also go live once a week with teacher content. What I do on those lives, if you are a teacher, is I go through tips and tricks for creating self-checking digital activities. I'll go ahead and I'll link one of those videos here. And I really hope that if you are a teacher, you consider checking that out as well. Maybe try and catch me live. I answer all of your questions. The activities can be used for any grade level and any subject. And I also currently have a giveaway going by. Um, it is actually going to be uh, done this week. So on Friday, it's the last day to enter. So I'll go ahead and also link that video here in case you're interested in checking that out. I am giving away two Stanley Cups um, for just randomly. So I'm going to do it um, through a wheel live next week on next Tuesday. So if you are interested in joining me on that, head on over, watch that video, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. So what is this video about? So this is a tag video created by Lo Ye Ye. I just recently subscribed to her channel. She has amazing bag reviews. I have been really, really enjoying her content, but she created this tag called One and Not Done. So brands that you only own one of, and you are not done with that brand. So what you've purchased from that brand, you are enjoying and uh, you wish to add more into your collection. When I first saw the tag, I actually saw Andrea from AKB Bags. I'll go ahead and I'll link her channel as well. And the video that prompted me to create my own list, I was thinking about that maybe I didn't have a lot because mostly as you can see in my background, I am a a die hard LV fan. So most of my bags and what I tend to gravitate towards the most are Louis Vuitton bags. But recently I have been on this journey, uh, getting away from those really high ticket items and going more towards the contemporary brands. First of all, they are easier on my budget. I definitely have more, um, uh, accessibility towards those kind of brands than I do the luxury brands. These are a giant splurge. Uh, more often than not require me to swipe a credit card, pay it off later. And I'm trying really hard to stay away from that. So we are currently not buying any luxury. I know I've talked about this um, in the past. I am definitely not anticipating going into the boutique and buying anything anytime soon. I'm talking like maybe one to two years where I don't see myself going physically into a boutique and buying a new bag. Do I want bags? Do I have a luxury wish list? Absolutely. Um, do I think it's ridiculous to have a giant collection? No, I don't. <laughs> um, if I could, if I had the means to, I would absolutely fill up my entire closet with just handbags. I, if I could, I would have a room dedicated to handbags. I do love them. They bring me a ton of joy, but I do know that I am not in that space to be able to get there. And those people that are, I love watching. So I love watching their purchases. I love watching unboxings and all that brings me a ton of excitement and knowing the bags that are out. But unfortunately for me at this point in time, I just don't have the means to continue adding to my collection and I'm okay with that. And I am enjoying what I already have, which is plenty, right? I do have a substantial collection that I can use and reuse and love for many, many years. I can pass on to my daughter eventually. Absolutely, right? I have that already. 
I'm happy with it. Have I reached a uh, purse piece? I don't think so. And that is because I absolutely love handbags. I just do. I don't know. I think the majority of us that are in this luxury space is something that you can't really explain. They just bring you joy. Uh, for me personally, I have for my entire life just kind of dealt with weight issues and uh, handbags are those kinds of things that always fit and they always make me feel extra happy and extra good. So why I can, that is why I continue to collect them and I'm happy to do so. But I have been gravitating so much more to those contemporary price points that still bring me that immense amount of joy. And I have been enjoying carrying them so much. Um, despite having all these very high ticket items behind me, I do still um, end up wearing some of my lower end bra brands. And I really love that. But since I started that journey into more of the contemporary side, I haven't been dedicated to one brand. And I'm ha really happy with that decision that I have been exploring other brands. So it was really nice to watch AKB Bags and Loyaye's channel and see that they have so many different brands that they're also exploring that they are just not done with. So without much further ado, <laughs> so here we go. The first one, I have a... Naomi crafted handbag. I did do a video on this one um, not too long ago, but I do absolutely love the color, love the style, love the craftsmanship. She is a small business. She supports all um, or a lot of the YouTube creators. I am not sponsored by her or anything by any means. I purchased this myself after watching Winnie's video. I used Winnie's code um, to get a discount on this one, plus some credits that I had on shop and I'm absolutely thrilled with this. It is a one-of-a-kind piece because she makes them one at a time and I just, I love it. I, I, obviously, it's inspired <laughs> by something. So yeah, I absolutely love this. Her craftsmanship is great. I did do an in-depth review um, of said craftsmanship, some little things that I maybe wasn't 100% happy with but I am not done with this brand. I love it. Eventually, I will add another piece. Who knows when, but this is one of those brands that I will not shy away from. If I see something that I love, I would absolutely repurchase from that. Brand. So second one, this is, well, I know I'm not going in any particular order, but I think this is one of those ones that it's going to come <laughs> sooner than later. Um, I guess all of these kind of are, except the Naomi. Now, the Naomi one, I don't really know what I would want from that brand. But from the rest of them, I have a clear wish list of um, items I would like to add in the near future. So here is the next one, and that is Nagetti. I've had this bag for a while. This is the only one that I have. It's currently stuffed. Um, but this is the mini St. Bart's tote. And I absolutely love this color. It is just so vibrant, so pretty, so summery. Um, I am definitely a believer of wearing bags when you want to wear them. Doesn't have to be seasonal, but this is definitely one that comes out to play in the summer because it's such a fun, vibrant color that goes with everything I wear over the summer uh, during the summer. Um, I wore it quite heavily this summer already. And um, I don't anticipating I don't anticipate using it anytime soon. Maybe when we go on vacation, I'm not sure uh, which bags I'll bring with me. But this one brings me so much joy. Um, it's so lightweight. And currently, I have my eye on a green one. I'll post a picture here. Um, a green one that has a uh, long strap that's built into the bag rather than it being a removable strap um, that's made by this uh, of the same neoprene uh, material. So that's the one that I'm currently looking at. Green is one of my favorite colors. I think it looks really good on. And I don't own a green. Oh, I lied. I do own a green bag now because I just recently got uh, the Marc Jacobs one. That's the only green bag in my collection. Um, and I can absolutely see myself having more because I wear a lot of green. But I think that's the next green bag that I get is going to be an Agetti one. I just, the quality is fantastic. It's so lightweight. And again, one 
and not done. Next one. So the next one might shock a lot of people because it is a huge deal in this community. So many people have bags by this brand and I don't. I am, of course, talking about Longchamp. So this is the only Longchamp bag that I have. It is the backpack. Um, I wear it for theme parks. Um, here's um, all my little charms. I am definitely a bag char uh, charm lady. That is my nickname. Harry Potter, of course, always with me and some cute little poofs. But this is my only Longchamp bag. And I absolutely want to add a Le Pliage tote into my collection at some point. Um, I... I think the biggest issue is that I can't commit to a color. Um, the price point is so good. It makes me want them all. And that's also still not sustainable, right? If I have five bags that cost $200, I still spent $1,000. <laughs> so I think I need to find a bag color that I would use a lot, which means it can be a neutral because I'll always opt for my Louis Vuitton ones. And it can be a pink because I already have one. Um, and the green, I don't like it as much, the green color in the Le Pliage toes. So I think that's why I haven't gone and purchased another one. I absolutely love the small one, MJ the Gray. I will link her channel as well. Did a video on her concert bags and she talked about using um, the mini one for that. And oh my God, I've been wanting it since. <laughs> so there's different items from uh, Longchamp that I would really love to add to my collection. So definitely one and not done. I have two more. So just two more brands. This is another one that I anticipate getting uh, sometime in the near future. And I definitely have a wish list. And that is Jimmy Choo. So this is one of my latest uh, handbags to my collection. This is a luxury brand, but I would not spend that kind of money on Jimmy Choo. I would only purchase if I went to the outlet like I did this one. This one was fairly inexpensive. Um, in the previous video, I talked about how much this bag cost. Um, and I know that bum bags are definitely my thing. There are two specific Jimmy Choo bags that I have in mind. Um, I guess three, because I would really like both of the other handbags, <laughs> the black and the white one. I was counting that as one. But if I can get my hands on the black or the white one when I go to the outlet, I am definitely adding that to my collection because bum bags work for me so incredibly well um, that I will continue to add them into my collection. I love the ease of using them. So I definitely want more for my own personal collection. And this bum bag is just amazing. I love, love, love the leather, the way that it feels, how much it holds. And there's another bag that keeps popping up. It's been on sale for so long and I just sighed because I don't know if I'll ever actually pull the trigger, but I do really want it. And that is this bag right here. It is a raffia bag and I don't own any raffia at all. And for some reason, this one just calls my name and I don't know why. So if it goes out of sale, I know it's not for me if it sells out, right? Anything like that. But I have been keeping my eye on it because I really, really like it. Um, if I find it at the outlet, that definitely is going to be a sign for me. Uh, but I am definitely not sleeping on this. I also want a hat by Jimmy Choo. And that's because the in initials JC are my initials. So I want to add a hat um, as well. So one and not done. And my last one is a brand that I actually don't see a lot of here. And I absolutely love Okay, editing Jorgelina and I just had to mention that I had to remove the part where I talked about the Stella McCartney bag because I just rambled on forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to post a picture here of the Stella McCartney bag that I'm also loving. I've had it for two years and I 
would love to add a Stella McCartney bag into my collection, but I really haven't seen anything that I necessarily love, but their quality is there. So if I were given the opportunity and there was a bag, a Stella McCartney bag that I loved, I would add to my collection. So that's really all that I needed to say rather than it was like six minutes of me rambling on about me not remembering where Stella McCartney worked. <laughs> If you've made it this far, thank you so much for being here. I will hope to see you on the next one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and say hello in the comments. Let me know if you have any of these brands and how you feel about them. I will see you on the next one. Bye.